happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to the legendary WFO 1080 AM, Power 965 FM's weekly news cap for the week of June 18th. Topics are local news, national news, wrapping up with our sports updates. I'm Nina. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Before we get started, WFO Power 965 Radio presents the annual Black Music Month Conference Awards today, tomorrow, and Sunday. This prestigious three-day event is free to the public. Come spin the wheel every hour on the hour to win prizes donated by local vendors, WFO merchandise, gift cards to your local favorite eateries, and so much more at the Millennium Hotel and Resorts, 2040 Walden Avenue, Buffalo, New York, 14225. That is today, tomorrow, and Sunday, June 24th, 25th, and 26th. In local news, we do have a few things going on, starting with former NBA star Shaquille O'Neal at Buffalo Riverworks tonight, behind the turntable as DJ Diesel, with special guests He Robust B2B Riot 10, Crank Dat, and Genie. Shaq has been passionate about DJing since age 14 and even had a platinum album in 1993 called Shaq Diesel that sold over 1 million copies. Paula's Donuts with the Niagara County SPCA have teamed up together in an attempt to ramp up adoption efforts of the No Kill Shelter's 70 dogs. Each box at Paula's will have a photo of an adoptable dog along with their information. In national news, the Grand Canyon has reported 118 cases of gastrointestinal illness since June 10th, with cases cropping up among visitors to the Colorado River and backcountry campers, according to park officials. The symptoms are consistent with that of norovirus, a contagious virus that results in vomiting, diarrhea, stomach pain, and nausea that could last one to three days. In the sporting world today, we had a phenomenal NBA draft last night that took place for 2022. An unexpected twist that I don't think anyone saw coming was Paolo being selected first overall by the Orlando Magic, despite not having a single formal workout or interview with them. A lot of people thought maybe Jabari Smith would go first or Shed Holmgren, but nonetheless it was Banchero, with the second selection in the draft being Holmgren, who went with the Oklahoma City Thunder. Expected first pick Jabari Smith ended up at number three with the Houston Rockets, followed by an unexpected fourth pick of Keegan Murray with the Sacramento Kings. The Detroit Pistons, however, were not upset as they were able to get their hands on Jaden Ivey with the fifth pick in the draft, adding a lot more skill to their backcourt. They also ended up trading for Jalen Duran. So for the Detroit Pistons, it looks like they're going to have a great season going into next year. But that does conclude our legendary Powered 965 Radio weekly news recap. Thank you so much for tuning in. And again, check out the BMMCA event today, tomorrow, and Sunday. See you in the next video.